I just wanted to share something that's very clearly on my heart for worship. One of the things that I've been reflecting on during this time of, of lockdown, COVID, etc., and the, the difficult times that we're all going through, is that in it and through it, God is purifying our worship. You know, when, when gold or something precious is, is manufactured, it, it goes through a heat treatment. What? To remove the impurities. When we as Christians want, to, and we say to the Lord, oh Lord, change us, transform us. He also wants to transform our worship. He wants to transform our worship. And how does that happen? Just by good things happening around us? No. It's going through the difficult times. And there's a verse I want to read that I think is so important in this. And it's from Habakkuk chapter 3. And from verse 17. And in it, Habakkuk writes and he says, Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls. Think about that. Everything that we put our trust in, Everything for production, everything for finance, everything for safety, security. Not happening. Though all of these things happen. Verse 18. Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful. Say joyful. Joyful, joyful in what? The verse is clear. In God my Savior. Why do, I say that, why do I say that it will purify our worship? Hey, it's easy to praise and worship when all the good things are happening around us. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. But when everything else is removed and taken away, the blessings, the natural blessings, what's left in our hearts? You see, pure worship revolves around our relationship with the Lord, and that's why it's saying, I will rejoice in the Lord, and I will be joyful in God my Savior. Yeah. We've all heard stories of where um, men or women have uh, been attracted to somebody else and got married, and the real motive has not been the person, but, uh, dare I say, the bank balance? <laughs> And when something goes wrong, the relationship quickly comes to an yeah. end. Yeah. And I want to tell you, there are many Christians who came into Gospels which put a focus around blessings mm -hmm. and what I have and what I can get in the natural. Yeah. Take those things away yeah. and there's nothing there yeah. because it never was about Jesus. Yeah. Where we... The Lord wants to bring us to that place where we seek the giver and not the gifts. Hallelujah. Who he is. Amen. And finally in Habakkuk it says in verse 19, when this takes place, when, when this worship is purified, when something like what I'm sharing comes through, verse 19, the sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. Hallelujah. He enables me to tread on the heights. Something happens in us when this purified worship comes. When we worship Him for who He is. Yes? yes? Not that everything's right around us. When something happens, faith arises. doesn't matter. God is in control. He reigns. He's in charge. I don't know what you're facing today. But I believe in this room and for those who are live streaming, we're all facing different things. Huh? Are we prepared to worship? Are we prepared to be joyful? Or are you waiting for something to happen? Are you? Are you waiting for something to happen to be joyful? Because I want to tell you, Jesus Christ is here today to be worshipped, to be honoured, to be thankful. Amen? Amen. When the music Face all that stripped away.
longing just to bring something that's of God. God bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a song. I'll bring you more than a song. For the song is not what you have It's all about you. It's all about you. Oh, I'm sorry. 